Most Canadians hear Caribbean and think sunny vacations on sandy beaches. But this is a region that's also facing challenges, particularly when it comes to finding skilled workers. This is where the CARICOM Education for Employment Initiative comes in. It is a program that pairs Canadian colleges with local colleges to train skilled workers. It's helping Caribbean schools align with the demands of local industry. There's a bit of a disconnect right now, we have it in Canada too, but between where the jobs are and where the training is. And so one of the things that we're trying to bring to the region is that Canadian model of demand-driven training and of education institutions responding to the needs of employers. The program is helping 12 countries in the Caribbean meet their growing need for skilled labour. Here in Guyana, the focus is on mining. Guyana-based company Maycorp says it needs the help with training. It supplies heavy-duty equipment to mining operations throughout Guyana. The company is currently training technicians on its own, but would rather focus on business, not education. We're, we're a company. We're not, we're not a school. So we took a task to do it ourselves because we could not find another way to, to go about it. But we understand that we cannot do this alone. And we foresee a um, high demand in, in um, the need for technicians. The automotive industry in Guyana is also benefiting from the CARICOM Education for Employment program. Durham College has been chosen to partner with Guyana's Government Technical Institute to build the curriculum. As Dean of Durham College's Whitby campus, Darren Karen is excited about taking their expertise to the Caribbean and the chance to internationalize his campus. It's not just about bringing international students into the college. That's great. We all do it. Every college in the system does it. It's important for us to be able to go overseas. It's important for me to get my faculty members into different environments. After weeks of traveling and filming interviews, the Project Caribbean team continues their work in the editing suites, working to bring more stories of hope about people, colleges and industries collaborating for a stronger economy in the Caribbean. Their work can be followed on Twitter at hashtag Project Caribbean. This is Manjula Salvaraja for My Community is Durham.